Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. I don't really play this game, but I know that you guys like to watch uh, watch these types of videos, so we're going to go ahead and review uh, the League One Team of the Season. Um, again, I don't really like FIFA this year. That's a very well-documented thing. I don't support the use of FIFA points in this game because EA as a company do not deserve it for their piece of shit gameplay. But we're going to go check out the players in regards to specific game mechanics, whether or not they'll be good players and whatnot. I am streaming Pez right now, so that's why you guys just saw the Pez screen. But this is for the League One team of the season. Um, we got Kylian Mbappe coming up first as a striker, right? Obviously, he played striker uh, this year, considering Cavani and Neymar uh, were injured. Neymar doesn't really play striker, but Mbappe was playing striker a lot this year. Uh, fantastic card acceleration, sprint speed's good, agility bounce is good. So, obviously, his dribbling is going to be as responsive as can be. Uh, with this card. Composure is great. Shooting is fantastic. Passing is fantastic. Free kick accuracy is not important. He can actually win the ball in the air with 91 jumping and 98 heading accuracy, being a 5'10 player. Uh, makes him definitely one of the most viable strikers to use in the game because he is also 5-star skill moves with 4-star height or 4-star uh, weak foot. Aggression with aggression being at 75 with good strength and a pretty decent stock in game uh, with acceleration sprint speed as it is. Um, is going to make this card absolutely phenomenal. Which card would I give an Mbappe? Um, honestly, maybe I would try to increase his physical even more, as well as his uh, shooting stats. So I'd probably give him a marksman so that his dribbling is as responsive as can be with good reactions and whatnot. Uh, you give him long shot power, shot power plus five. He already has 99 finishing with 91 composure, so that's already pretty decent. Um, and then if you give him the physical boost, you'll definitely notice it from time to time as well, right? So winning the ball in the air, stuff like that, right? He'll be a really good player. Uh, Di Maria, uh, right off the bat, the bad thing about this card is the weak foot. He does have a two-star weak foot, making him unusable in FIFA. Uh, but he still will be a fun card to use. His pace is good. His dribbling is fantastic. Um, his shooting is very good. But again, the two-star weak foot, you will notice that uh, a lot of the times. Uh, physical being at 77, you may want to increase that again. So maybe you want to slap a nice little marksman on him as well uh, to increase his shooting stats with his finishing and as well as his physical stats because physical is everything uh, in FIFA nowadays. Um, so I would probably do that with his card. Passing, he's already very good at as well. So the things you will notice is uh, his physical stock, he's skinny. So he might get out body from time to time even with those physical stats. Um, yeah. That's what I would say to that card. But the two-star weak foot will be super noticeable. Neymar is obviously going to be a fantastic player. Uh, absurd price, obviously. Right, A lot of people are not even going to come close to getting that amount. Uh, acceleration, sprint speed's there. Dribbling's there. Shooting is there. Passing's there. Physicality. Uh, physicality is just an extra on Neymar because his dribbling and his responsiveness on and off the ball is fantastic. Um, he counters bad gameplay, right? Whether you guys play the game consistently or not, for, for you to counter bad gameplay is really up to you. Um, but he's a really, really good card. His shooting is already very good. His composure is already really good. Um, you don't really need to give him balance boost. You can give him a sniper if you really want to, but it doesn't really touch his shooting that much. Um, you may want to touch his physical, actually, the most. So if you give him marksman, um, you would give physical and shooting. But if you get finisher, finisher is probably the most ideal. So you can give him perfect shooting stats, essentially, but you also give him physical stats because his dribbling is only going to be very, very responsive. So giving him physical stats... Will also will just be more beneficial in my opinion. Uh, passing is there, all that stuff, blah blah blah, right? So five star, five star, one of the most perfect players. His rare gold card does a pretty good job of uh, con uh, of uh, being good in bad gameplay, right? So I couldn't think of the word for a second there. Uh, Pep or Pepe, he is obviously already bad on the weak foot, so he has the three star weak foot, which will be noticeable. But he is six foot tall. He's a very stockish player. Um, so his physicality will be good even with 82 strength because his stock is big in game. 99 jumping while being six foot tall is very good. Heading accuracy at 84 is fantastic. Um, composure is at 90, uh, 89. So whether you think that's too low or not, you could give him a sniper to increase his volleys, penalties, and finishing because his shot power is already very good as well as his long shots. Um, so you could end up doing that as well. Uh, short passing is not his passing isn't great so you might want to decide on giving him a dead eye as well not dead eye because dead eye doesn't do anything what's the card that gives him it's passing shooting and dribbling i think it's maestro yeah maestro so maestro could increase his passing as well as as well as his dribbling so uh but physical increasing physical 
might be the way to go again because physical is such a huge thing. So you could increase his drilling by a little bit, give his shooting a little bit more stats, and then increasing his physical would be nice as well. Um, Savanier. Savanier is his defense is is kind of shitty. His physical is kind of shitty too in regards to strength. But will it be a usable card? Absolutely. Uh, he is medium high with good pace and good transitioning because his agility and balance is very good. Uh, he is also five foot seven, so this will just be a quote unquote fun card to use in FIFA. Not really a card that you should use. Uh, probably give him an anchor since you're not really increasing his pace by that much. Give him that physical boost as much as possible. Blah blah blah. Um, but not necessarily an ideal card. Verratti would be a fun card to use, not ideal card to use because of his height being five foot five. He will be fun in the sense of him being um, a center midfielder with a four star weak foot and four star skill. So you could play him as a left center defensive mid, uh, and he can play that role okay. In all honesty, not like amazingly well. Um, his transitioning will be good. His pace upgrade is going to be very very important. I would give him a shadow to make him as fast as possible because his physical. Uh, his physical presence is not going to matter because he is five foot five, um, with already low strength and low jumping. Right, so he's not going to win the ball in the air for you. He's not really going to make, make uh, a lot of good plays in regards to physical presence, but maybe his aggression with his pace boost uh, could knock some people off the ball. Uh, finishing is okay for a, a person you might be playing as a center defensive mid. I would not recommend using him as a center mid, because um, he won't be ideal in that situation. Uh, Tiago Mendes is a CDM with pace as well. He does actually have uh, defensive stats. Since his pace is already very good, this is actually a fantastic card if FIFA wasn't so garbage. Uh, Anchor would be a really ideal card to give to him. CDM with medium high work rates, right? So he does, or high medium work rate. So he does have an attacking work rate, but he does have four star skills. So he will still be a super fun card to use. His pace is very good. So he can track back really well as well. Uh, so be sure to look out for that as well. It's a, it's a fun card. If you get him, it wouldn't be necessarily too bad to try him out on your actual team. Uh, Marquinhos, the center back, uh, doesn't have the picture on because it's a buggy, is very usable. It's a very usable card. His work rates uh, are medium, medium with six foot uh, height. He is 99 jumping with 87 strength. So a pretty decent card in that regard as well. Um, if you do end up using this card, I would recommend you giving him an anchor or... If you think his pace is already very good, because everything is defense, right? You've got to make him as as perfect as possible defensively, right? So giving him the physical defense and, and pace boost is pretty nice. If you feel like his strength and aggression is already enough, give him the shadow just so he can be as fast as possible as well as already having good physical stats. So um, maybe giving him the pace would be the beneficial one because his agility and balance is very good. Someone who is medium, medium that can transition left and right really well. Uh, will be an awesome card. Jose Font will be strictly if you are if you have like a Portuguese team and you want to get Jose Font as your Portuguese player. Since his uh, his pace is too is too low, you have to give him a shadow card, and his pace will still be really garbage. Ruben Dias will still probably play better than this card um, because the pace will be very relevant from time to time. Uh, so not really much to look forward to there. Let me just take all of these things out here. Uh, next up, we have Lala. Alala is obviously one of the most meta right backs in FIFA 19 currently. So he's obviously going to uh, he's gonna do his part. He's going to do his part. He has the pace. He has defense, physical. He's basically the perfect fullback bar the finishing, right? Because, you, you know, sometimes you like your fullbacks to attack. Sometimes you need them to be able to finish. Uh, he won't be able to do that for you. But in a general sense, he'll be a fantastic card. His pace is already pretty decent. So you might not want to upgrade it. But um, it, it wouldn't hurt to give him a plus five, plus five. On, the, on that because you can see that his physical and defensive stats get upgraded quite significantly. 80 composure is pretty decent to have for a fullback, not necessarily an attacker. Fullback, 80 composure is pretty decent. He is 5'10 with better jumping uh, and better physical stats. So this card will be very, very good. Goalkeepers, we don't really review goalkeepers. Cavani will have poor agility and balance for sure. Agility is good, so that could actually make up for the balance. Uh, since you are using this card, his balance is too poor. So you do have to give him an engine because that balance will be noticeable. Can't see the engine right now for some reason. There it is. Uh, you want to give him the engine to make his dribbling as responsive as possible considering the fact that his shooting is already very good with a four-star weak foot and 95, and 95 composure. Uh, you increase his pace. You want to make him as responsive as possible on the ball because he will be a huge, huge physical presence for you um, in general. Uh, next up, we have Tovin or Thalvin. 
He's uh, a very good card, except for the fact that his weak foot is crappy. His balance is low, so again, I'd probably slap a nice little engine on him to make him as responsive as possible on the dribble. Um, card's pretty decent. Strength's not too bad. He is a pretty uh, decent build in game as well. Uh, very usable card if FIFA wasn't trash. Uh, but, you know, the weak foot being three star uh, makes him not really meta. meta. Uh, Ferlin Mendy, very, 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 very good card. One of the best left backs in the game. His 87 is a card that I used. Um, and he was already fantastic. So his team of the season will only be significantly better. He can actually finish with 76 finishing. Not perfect, but he can be an attacking fullback. Uh, if I do end up using this, or if you guys do end up using this card, uh, Sentinel doesn't really do much in comparison to the Anchor. So that's why I, inc I increase the sprint speed and acceleration as much as possible. Because if you actually check out Sentinel, it gives him like a plus five uh, in the strength only. So uh, I would give him an Anchor as well just to make him as perfect as possible defensively. Um, so you're not lacking in those general areas. Uh, the next card we have is Bamba. So Bamba is a left mid player. Is he four star? Four star? He is not. So he is a right footed player on the right on the left side. So you're gonna go for the first time shots with him. His dribbling won't be that great because of his reactions being low in terms of responsiveness. So you might want to give him a sniper, right, uh, to increase the dribbling stats as much as possible so that he is as responsive as possible. You do need to increase the composure. Uh, since it is very low, uh, physical stats are pretty decent. He's he's got a decent build in game. Five foot nine, um, usable, but the weak foot will be a downfall of the card for sure. A tall is a great right back. Uh, how tall is he? Five foot nine. He's yeah, he's a pretty good right back. He's a usable right back. Uh, you got some links with Nice. You got an Algerian Algerian player. Oh, I had to wait there for a second. Didn't know right? Uh, Algerian player. Uh, with a five-star weak foot, it's really nice to have. He also has four-star skills, so that'll be a super fun card to use. Composure at 75 can be a problem with a fullback, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. So I think that that, um, I think that that'll be pretty decent, my dude. My dudes. Uh, Magnin is a goalkeeper. Not going to check him out too much. This guy's actually uh, speculated to join other teams. I think he was speculated to go to Manchester United because you know the whole thing with De Gea probably leaving. Um, is why they're looking into that. Delort and Kazri not really going to check out that much because, uh, oh, we can't actually check them out. So his dribbling is already pretty decent. It's not ideal, but it's decent. His pace is low, so you do have to give him uh, a hunter card. You do have to give him a hunter card. He is three star, three star, so not really looking to, uh, not really worth looking into that one too much. Kazri is poor in the balance, so right off the bat, you do need to give him an engine because you would increase the pace as well. Um, so definitely look, it's worth looking into that for a four star, four star, if you want, uh, to use a player that's from Tunisia, uh, or, you know, you just like the card because he's bald, right? So it's really up to you. Uh, but that's pretty much it in regards to the review, a pretty decent league one team of the season. Again, I don't really care too much. I know you guys like to watch these types of videos, um, for the YouTube channel. So that's why I do post them up. Be sure to check out the, uh, Pez trailer breakdown. They have a lot of really cool features added into the game. Um, I am playing Pez 19 right now on stream because, um, I don't really like FIFA 19 as you guys already know. So I have been playing Pez because the game is definitely more enjoyable than FIFA because FIFA 19 is an awful game. So, um, that's going to do it. That's going to do it for the review for the league one team of the season. We'll check out reviews for other team of the seasons as well. I don't know how much content I'll be doing for FIFA. Um, my content in the future might be more Pez oriented. We'll see what's up with that. Uh, because I don't really enjoy playing FIFA right now. So I have been doing, um, different types of gameplay. So hopefully you guys do understand. Let me see if my chat has anything to add to that. Um, can I see your team? This is for Pez and that's pretty much it. Uh, so hopefully you guys don't mind. Hopefully you guys don't mind the, uh, the Pez gameplay in the future. If I do end up uploading more Pez because I got to keep saying it. FIFA 19 is a terrible game. I don't know why people spend FIFA points on the game. Like I'm, I review that because you guys like seeing the review, but the game's a piece of shit. So, uh, you guys already know my stance on that. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out my dudes. Love you guys.